So howdy everybody, welcome to Pennsylvania where today we are in the belly of the beast at Shaw Barrels. And Shaw Barrels has been making rifle barrels for some of the biggest rifle manufacturers in the country for over a hundred years. My name is Carl Bailing. I'm third generation owner of Shaw Barrels. At Shaw Barrels we manufacture affordable sub-MOA custom barrels, AR-15 barrels, AR-10 barrels, and custom rifles. Today we're going to show you how these barrels are made from the very beginning all the way to the very end. So this is where it all starts? Yep. So tell us about it. So we get multiple grades of steel in depending upon what the customer wants, what size that finished outside diameter of the barrel is. They come in at 12 foot to 14 foot bars, 416R, 4150 and 4140. They've been building barrels for decades and decades and they build barrels for most leading manufacturers of firearms in the country. And so wherever you're buying your firearm, odds are that firearm has got a Shaw barrel on it. So, yep. and it all starts right here. So the operator grabs one of those bundles from our steel inventory, mm -hmm. breaks it down, loads it on this rack, an automated arm, lifts it onto the conveyor belt, vices hold onto it, and that cuts it about a half inch longer than the desired finished length of the gun barrel. That's okay. so we can clean up the crown, any turning marks or anything like that. We actually cut a barrel every five or so seconds. So this is just cutting the barrel to length? Correct. All right, so where do we go from here? I'll show you. So you've got all this fancy state-of-the-art equipment, and then I look at this and I know this has got to be older than I am for sure. What's the story here? Right, so we've been making barrels as a company for over 100 years. This is one of the original pieces of equipment. It's a deep hole drilling machine. It can drill anything from a 17 cal up to 10 gauge shotgun. We've been through all major wars in the U.S. Probably made hundreds of thousands, if not a million barrels on this machine. I mean, talk about history. Yep. Maybe a million barrels have been made right there. So our next operation is a deep hole drilling process. That's putting a hole all the way through the rifle barrel. It's a rough hole, it's undersized. On these machines, we can drill eight at a time between the two of them. Okay. On a 16 inch barrel, we can probably get around eight barrels every four or five minutes. All right, so what's the next step? The next step is reaming. So tell me about the reaming process. So we have a hole from our last process. Mm -hmm. That hole's rough on the inside. We have to clean it up with the reaming process. We're looking for a mirror finish on the inside, as little reaming marks as possible. We ream slower than most manufacturers to get that finish. So tell me about how many barrels this will do at a time and how many machines you've got going. So we have three machines, eight barrels can be reamed at a time. So uh, what's he doing over here with this gauge? So his gauge, it's a go and a no-go gauge. That's part of our QC process to make sure it's the correct size. So where does it go from here? So after it gets reamed, it needs rifled on our five rifling machines right here. Okay. So these five machines, we're doing all the button rifling. We have a proprietary process and lubricant that we use on all five of these rifling machines. He's getting ready to set up to pull a button. Actually put the rifling in the barrel. Correct. So after the rifling's put in the barrel, that causes stress internally. We have to relieve that stress. Oh, stress reliever. Let's go see a stress yep. reliever. I may need some of that. <laughs> <laughs> so this really is nothing more than just a great big oven, correct? Right. So how does it work? We stress relieve every barrel in-house. You heat it up to a certain temperature, roughly around a thousand degrees, and you cool it down gradually. How important is that for the accuracy? It's extremely important. When you go to contour a barrel, if it's not stress relief, the bore actually can open up a thousandths or so. Every single step that we're going through here is precise. Every single step. It's when some gun manufacturers sub out, it has to be made by somebody that they trust that the process is done properly. Yeah, it's important that everything's controlled in-house to our standards so we know what's going out the door every single time. All right, so this is our chambering shop. I'm gonna show you the process beginning to end. Okay. So this is what the barrels look like after they've come out of the heating process, right? Correct. Yeah, they all have a certain color to them depending upon what type of material it is. You can actually look down the barrel of these, see that nice shiny finish on the inside, see the rifling. These are ready to get turned for concentricity. This side of the shop is to make the barrel concentric. We gotta gain concentricity. So to do that, we turn the outside between centers to make it concentric with the inside. Our tolerance we try to meet is one thousandths of an inch of concentricity. This step is very important to the precision rifle barrel manufacturing process. 
All right, so this is Sean. He's a foreman here in this shop. Tell me what's going on right here. So over here, we're taking our barrels that we just turned between centers and we're cutting the hubs and the chambers on them. And so what's the purpose of that? It's where all of the accuracy in the barrel comes from is just making sure that we have that chamber perfectly concentric to the bore and that that hub is turned at the same time as the chamber. So when it's mounted to the rifle, it will be a perfectly straight shot. So here are the chambered blanks and they go from here over to here. This is where a barrel really starts looking like a barrel. Yeah, so Keith, as you can see, those are just a straight diameter all the way from the chamber. We have seven lathes in this factory that make your tapered contour, or if we have a contract job, an AR barrel or something like that, they do the step down, like government profile, really do any sort of contour out of this factory. So I want to point out that they start out with stock this big, and they've got to turn it down to a lathe to this big. So right. all this material that is gone, that is not used right here, tell everybody what happens with that. Yeah, so we actually resell it. We have a chip compactor. We recycle that and then sell the scrap. So it's environmental environmentally friendly. So take a look at this beautiful barrel right here. You may be wondering, how did it turn out to be so perfect? Luke will tell you. This is our barrel fluting operation. Right now we're cutting some spiral flutes in a six millimeter arc AR-15. We're using a vertical mill with a fourth axis rotary. It really does make a beautiful barrel. So what are you doing here? So this is our sandblasting. Gives that barrel that nice matte finish, uniform, fully automated. You can run up to eight barrels in a cycle. And boy, this thing just runs all day. Let's give it a whirl. So Shaw offers quite a few different finishes for the barrels. And this is the sandblasting finish. Look how pretty that looks. And now we're heading to the custom shop where they're fixing to build me a rifle. All right, so this is my new bear rifle. This is the excursion. You know, people have been watching me on television for a long time shooting the Shaw Mark 7. Okay, and it's been doing a really good job. And so I decided I wanted the excursion in a new version. So they just made this for me. You already took a tour of the shop downstairs to see all the work that goes into the barrels that go into our excursion rifles. Once the barrels come upstairs here to our custom shop, uh, each barrel is hand fitted to each individual receiver. Once they are fitted in headspace, we'll go ahead and test fire them here in house. And then uh, after they're test fired and we know that they're safe, onto the finishing portion of the build process. And then you have an assembled rifle. And the next step, Carl and I are fixing to take this bad boy out and shoot it. All right, so we showed you how this rifle is built all the way from the barrel all the way to the finished product. And now we're going to take a few shots with it. Ooh, nice. That'll work. All right. That thing shoots sweet, it is perfect. It's a perfect gun for me. And if you wanna order the perfect rifle for you, go to shawbarrels.com.